I don't I don't know where to begin. A lot of shit has happened and uh I'ma just try to fill y'all in as much as possible on on where I'm at, what's going on, where I'm trying to be headed and just go from there. Off, let me just say, you know, for old time's sake, what's good, y'all? It's your boy B, man, and I'm back with another video, man. And um, it's been well over a month. Hell, it's probably been two months since y'all see me on the channel. But I mean, as y'all can see, I'm still in. I'm still in Big Ledge. We in Big Ledge right now. You know, she's still running. She's still intact. Everything's fine with that car. Hell, for those of y'all that follow me on Instagram, man, y'all know I done bought another legend. You feel me? I got Pop's old legend, the white coupe. I got that now. So that's going to be something that hopefully we can get started in the near future. But honestly, I ain't come to y'all with nothing car related. I'm just going to be honest. I'm coming to y'all with just real life shit. Like real life shit. Um, first of all, I, uh, a huge appreciation to my brother uh car adventures with rage man we just uh we just got off the phone right now after a long talk because a lot of y'all don't know but like rage that's that's really like family to me um you know when i first introduced him on my channel uh back in like i don't know what was that april last year or something like that we hadn't stopped being in contact since like Hell, I, I talk to that nigga every day. Like, if not every day, every other day, I, I, I'm in contact with Reg. Like, my, my my son loves that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's his Uncle Reg right there. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's that serious. Like, it's one of the, you know what I mean? Like, that's one dude I could call on. He gonna be right there. He call on me, I'm gonna be right there. And we've honestly, within the last years, a lot of shit has happened on both of our ends that, you know, we don't speak on outside of this YouTube shit. But one thing for sure, like, you know, he's he's been there for me in my real down time since we've known each other and vice versa. So, you know, just extreme appreciation for him, man. Let me start it off there. But anyways, I was on the phone with this nigga and I told him like, bro, I... I need to just get on the camera, bro. Like, I just need to get on the camera. I need to, you feel me? Just just speak my mind for real and, and let y'all know what's going on, man. Like, just let y'all know what's up with me. So here we go. Um, I ain't been on YouTube in a minute. I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. I honestly haven't had the motivation to do anything car related. Like, I, I, I don't know if it's that I'm over the cars. No, I'm not over, I'm not over cars. But I'm over the car scene. Like, I'm, I'm kind of done with it. Y'all ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm I'm kind of done with it. The shit fake. At least in my opinion. But, you know, y'all see me on YouTube. But I've only been doing YouTube since, like, 20... I don't know, 2017, 2018, for real. Took a break and then really kind of came out the gate running 2020. That's when a lot of y'all uh, kind of caught on to me was 2020. When I bought this when i bought this car when i bought this legend that's when a lot of y'all caught on to me in 2020 but i've been in the car game since 2010 you know what i'm saying like i didn't have i didn't had a whole 10 year run before or a, really a good shit i didn't for sure had at least a good six seven year run before i ever thought about picking up a camera you know what i'm saying i didn't have a hell of cars i done, I done been in, i done been in this shit for a minute so you know i'm kind of I don't know. I'm just kind of over it. Like the scene is fake. A lot of the energy is fake. And you know, you just be around a lot of weirdos where their confidence lies behind their car. And that's just not the type of person I am. Like I'm, I'm going to be B regardless. I'm B regardless of the legend. I'm B regardless of the Lexus. I'm B regardless of anything you see on this channel. I'm going to be B regardless. I'm going to be Brian regardless. You know what I'm saying? So 
you know, I, I've been really just kind of listening to myself and telling myself, like, all right, be like, you know, if it's certain environments you don't want to be around, don't be around them. And that's just it. No matter if it's the car scene or certain people, anything. Like, if, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not fucking with it. Like, that's just, that's just where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that, number one. But I'm going to for sure always be building a car because that's just that's just something I really like to do. Like, I am passionate about building these cars, shit like that. I'm going to try to get back motivated to incorporate some videos, especially now that we got the coupe. You feel me? So hopefully, you know, in the future, we'll get some, some future car content out. Um, but what I do want to let y'all know is I'm starting a podcast, man. The Beat of Growth podcast is, is about to be a real thing. And no, it's not finna be like some fancy shit in the room, at least not immediately. It's gonna be some shit like this, where we in the car, you feel me, where I'm chopping it up with y'all, where I'm giving y'all game. I might have a guest sitting in the passenger seat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you never know. But but I got so much shit on my mind, so many topics I wanna talk about, so much shit I could speak on outside of this car shit, man. Like. The cars is one thing, but like I'm 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 more than that. That's why I changed my name. For those of y'all that have been following me, even since when I first bought the legend, I was Wet Whips Only B. Cause I ran a page on Instagram called Wet Whips hey, Only. Right. And obviously my nickname is B. So I just incorporated that together for my YouTube channel. And it was my personal Instagram name at the time too, Wet Whips Only underscore B. You know what I'm saying? I changed my shit. I changed it to be the growth because at the end of the day, it, it it widens the horizon of the content that I compose because I know that I'm a, a a wide scale creative outside of the cars. You feel me? And it just kind of describes who I am because I'm trying to grow in every single way, every single thing. You know what I'm saying? Like whether it's the cars or whether it's my mental, whether it's my physical, whether it's my spiritual, my relationship with God, my as a father, you know what I'm saying? Being a better father or anything, you know what I'm saying? Better husband. Like, I'm always trying to outdo yesterday's B. You know what I'm saying? So, B to growth, it was, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was meant for me. And I I changed that name some years ago, you feel me? And I, I, ain't, I ain't stopped since with it. You know, it's, it's been B to growth for a minute now. And that's, that's what it'll forever be. You know what I'm saying? Be the change you want to be. You know, or be the growth you want to be, be the change you want to see, man. Be the growth all day long. Um, uh, but yeah, these last couple months have been rough, really kind of transitioning out of out of certain things. You know what I'm saying? Transitioning out of the car scene, you know, really valuing, valuing my energy, valuing where I where I decide to present myself who's worthy of my time not to sound like an asshole but seriously like who's worthy of my time and energy because my my value is high i know what i bring to the table with a lot of situations and in all honesty not everybody's meant to have that not everybody's meant to have access to me or my time or my energy or or my presence or my knowledge like that's just the facts and when you start to you know, when you start to keep track of that, that's when you'll start to regain some of your energy back because when you're constantly around folks, you're just giving, you're giving energy, you're just giving, 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 giving. And, and, and the shit can become too much, man. And at the end of the day, nine times out of 10, you sit back and you wait for somebody to give back to you and it's fucking crickets. Straight up, like it's, it's crickets, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just free game, like just, you know, value, value, your energy, value your time, value who you present yourself around. Make sure that that is worth it because you know we can. It's a, it's it's one thing that we can't get back in life, and that's time. We can't get time back. So the one thing I don't want to do is waste my time, bro. Like straight up, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my energy. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Um, shit, bro. One of my friends died. Um, one of my friends died a couple weeks ago. Uh, my nigga Peanut, man. Rest in peace, my nigga Peanut. Um, that was that was my guy. I've been knowing Peanut for some years, man. Um, he knows some of my. He a little bit younger than me, so you know he knows some of my family with school and some of my family and shit in the past. But as far as like 
you know, us having a friendship that was built. I actually met that nigga right here um, where I'm at right now. I'm up here at Cal State East Bay. Y'all remember, y'all remember, for those that's been following me for a minute, y'all know a lot of my legend videos was up here at Cal State East Bay, man. That's where a lot of my original legend videos, my first take and delivery video was shit right here where I'm parked at. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my update videos in the Cal State parking lot, man. Cal State East Bay parking lot has a lot of history with me. Cal State East Bay in general got a lot of history with me. I went to school here. I went to school here. I didn't graduate. You know, I mean, I, I'm not going to make excuses for it, but what it was, you know, I, I had to work. I had to start working sooner than later and, you know, went from trying to do school full time for the first year or so and had to transition to, you know, going to school part time, working full time and, you know, after so long, it get tiring and, 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 you know, the money start coming in and, and my focus just started going towards the money. I'm going to be honest, but, but yeah, I'm getting off track, but my nigga peanut, man, I, I met, I met my nigga up here on this campus, man. And I, I really got to see that brother. Um, I really got to see him blossom. You know what I'm saying? I got to see him blossom. It was good to see, you know, another kid from the turf, you know, up here trying to do something with, you, with his life and educate himself you know what i'm saying and through all the obstacles man like my nigga made it through like he graduated like he got his bachelor's my nigga my nigga like i said man my nigga had a kid and did a bid you feel me in in the midst of of this journey and still made it so you know it's people like him where it's like you know there's there's no excuses on why you can't accomplish something when you really want it you know what i'm saying like there's never no excuse on why you can't do something. Anything is possible. Sure, it may not be as easy for some or it you know, be harder for others, but at the end of the day, it's still possible if you want to take it to that point. You know what I'm saying? And, and my nigga Peanut was definitely an example of that. You know what I'm saying? My God, man, Peanut, man, Kendall, I, I love you, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm sick about what happened. You feel me? Uh, that shit just wasn't meant for you, bro. Like it wasn't your time, and it's it's like I was telling my little cousins and, and my little cousin and, and and shit. It's like you know, like I one of my partners I was talking to about it, mutual partners I was talking to about. I'm like, man, like you know, to a degree, I accept the idea of death because we're all gonna go one of these days. But like the way it happened. I'm having a hard time accepting, you know, some, you know, I mean, the, the article came out stuff. Basically, he got hit by a stray and then ran over by a car at the same, like, in the same, you feel me, like, some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, some real crazy shit, bro, and it's just like, how does that happen to a nigga like that, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody who really blessed everybody with his presence you know what i'm saying like he 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 made differences in so many people's lives whether it was just you know whether it was with money or whether it was just with 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 moments you know what i'm saying moments moments that you cherish moments of laughter moments of 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 you know what i'm saying just just positive energy that he dished out to people you know what i'm saying like it's, it's, it's fucked up, bro. Like, Oakland is on a whole nother... This ain't the Oakland I know. And I ain't gonna get too much into that, but... This shit is weird, bro. Like, this shit is weird. But yeah, they, they took a good nigga, bro. Like, they really took a good man. You feel me? Like, I, I just... I don't know, y'all. They, they took a good one. That shit's still fucking me up, man. One of the... I ain't seen my nigga in a couple years one of the last times we had a moment to embrace actually was at uh at signature image when i was getting this car wrapped when i was getting this car wrapped and was back and forth to the shop that was one of the last times i really got to embrace that nigga because he had hit me asking where to go to get a wrap like where can you get his car wrapped my nigga had a hellcat and um he was asking where to get that shit wrapped and i said pull up to vallejo Shit, nigga said, say less. He was there. You feel me? He was there. He, he was there. And luckily, I was at the shop the day he pulled up to drop that shit off, man. And he was, he was happy just to see me. 
you know what I mean? Doing things that I always talked about doing. Cause hell, everybody that know me know I've been a car guy forever. You know what I'm saying? Folks that know me know an accurate legend has been my dream car forever. So, you know, just to even have that alone be acknowledged and, and, and you know, show love. Like, damn, B, you really putting together your dream. Like, that's dope. Like, that shit meant a lot to me, bro. Like, rest in peace, my nigga, man. That shit, that shit crazy. I said I ain't embraced my nigga in a couple years, but shit, I talked to the nigga. Cause we talked back and forth, especially on Instagram on the DM and shit. And I, I had probably just talked to that nigga like three days probably three days prior to him getting killed, man, and that shit, shit fucked me up, man, my, my cousin fucked me up with that FaceTime call, bro, that Extra Sunday morning, that shit, I'm like, come on, man, but yeah, so, you know, rest in peace, man, rest in peace, my nigga Peanut, man, um, but yeah, so, I mean, shit, that shit happened, honestly, just to, like, I've been going through a lot of shit, even just mentally, like, you know what I'm saying? I've been I've been back smoking on it like a daily. I know some of y'all, I mean, some of y'all know that, that know me. I don't know if it's obvious. I don't feel like it's obvious in my demeanor that I'm definitely a, a weed head. You know, at least I, I was at a point in time and I've definitely had calmed down and then, you know what I'm saying, picked it back up and calmed down. It's like, it's like a up and down roller coaster, but I went on like a three month, cleans i was straight clean and then like just shit started happening i done picked it up again you know what i'm saying and it's been every day every day all day like i i'm 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 in a bad place y'all like i ain't gonna lie i'm stressed the hell out i'm stressed out i'm tired i'm hurt you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm a lot of shit and it, it hasn't been easy you know what i'm saying it hasn't been as easy but i've been trying to get through um my job has definitely caused me a high majority of a lot of the, 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 the stress and the anxiety levels like i i have i have anxiety in general i actually have like social anxiety i, I don't really do that well around people that's one of the reasons you kind of don't see me on the scene like that but um you know, my job has caused me a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. My anger has been showing back up. For those of y'all that didn't know, I, I had heavy, heavy anger issues years ago. I, I had to really do some anger management and stuff like that some years ago to get myself, you know, to where I am today, where I can usually be more calm about situations and get through situations. But no, I've been, I've been, I've, I've been out of character lately. My job has had me out of character. I, I two pieced my coffee table this morning and broke that shit. Like it's, it's done for. It's done. I had to order a new table today from the IKEA. But I, um, I'm going through a lot of shit. I'm going through a lot. I'm, I'm really stressed out, and I. But I, I haven't officially left, but I, I walked away from my job unofficially today. And I really, I don't know. I don't know what's next. I really don't know what's next. But one thing that tripped me out is that I'm, I'm, I'm less stressed out about figuring out how to pay my rent than I am dealing with that job. And that, that shit alone says a lot. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I, turned that computer off and walked away today I, I i felt a sign of relief even though my situation ain't good right now like i got a lot of shit to figure out within the next couple of weeks but i felt a sign of relief you know what i'm saying like okay let's let's okay we didn't we didn't did it what we gonna do be let's let's build you know what i'm saying like let's let's build so here I am. And one of the things I really want to build on is this podcast, man. Be the growth podcast, man. That's really where my passion is at now, y'all. Like, it's really into talking. It's into speaking. It's into expressing myself. It's it's into hearing other people speak. It's into taking in different perspectives and, and, and sharing my perspectives and 
and just having a good time, having good dialogue with good people and good energy and, and displaying that on camera and giving it to y'all, man. Like that's, that's it. Like that's, that's it, man. Like that's really what I want to do. That's what will have me back on YouTube more often. So what's going to happen from here is I'm going to either make a whole new channel called the Beat of Growth Podcast, or I'm just going to organize my videos into a playlist to where there's a playlist for the podcast series within the Beat of Growth channel. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's coming to one main channel. You get what I'm saying? So that'll probably be what I'll do to start. And if it starts to grow, you know what I mean? Like extremely, then maybe I'll make a separate channel for it. We'll see how it go. But um, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all supporting the Beat of Growth podcast, man. I hope y'all are. I got a lot to say. I do got a lot of gems that I'll be dropping just in life in general. If you know me on a personal level, you know I, I've been told I come with a lot of wisdom. So, you know, I definitely want to kind of display that side of me and, and, and you know, let y'all know, uh, you know, what's on my mind, man. You feel me? Like, what's on my mind, man? Let y'all know. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, you know, I have a lot of faith. I have a lot of faith, my faith in God, my faith in myself, my faith in the process, you feel me, is what keeps me going no matter what happens, you know what I'm saying, like that's, that's what really keep me going is my faith, you know, and even in times where it just don't seem realistic or things don't seem like they're going to work out, they've always had a way to work out, you know what I mean? Hell, Reg just reminded me a few, you know, a few months ago that, that I had no clue how I was going to get this 3.5 in this legend and get this legend back running. I was at a point where that's it. Like, it was over with. And I don't know when I'm coming back, but it's like I'm not going to stress myself out about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come back when I come back. And I ended up finding a way and I bounced back. You know what I'm saying? I got the car back going. So, you know, like... I've been blessed enough to, to be able to speak a lot of things into existence. You know what I mean? Pray on it, work for it, claim it, and and, and watch it blossom. So, you know, I, 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 <laughs> like I was talking to Reg on the phone, I remember telling him last year, I said, bro, 2023 is the last year I worked my job. It's the last year that I worked my job. And here we are at the end of the year, and, and this is where I'm at, like just walking away from it. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to be a lot, but I'm going to find a way to get back going because what I really want y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. This is, this is some more gems for y'all. I'm not a, I'm not a money hungry guy. I'm not, I've never been a money, money hungry guy. I'm not a materialistic guy. I don't give a damn how many cars I have. You can think what you want to think, but to know me is to know that I'm the farthest thing from materialistic. I'm extremely humble. I don't, gloat i don't flex i don't i don't put a lot of emphasis on this stuff because i'm i'm just a realist i know this shit is temporary i done lost it all and got it back you know what i'm saying i didn't i didn't watch people lose it and get it back as quick as they lost it like it's just it's 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 roller coasters man you never know how life gonna go shit i know enough people that have had all kind of stuff that's gone dead and that stuff's still sitting here so like i can never put just too much emphasis on stuff i don't i don't care how much i like it like it's still going to be stuff at the end of the day and that's why i say i can't let stuff define me as a person or define my value as a person because all this stuff is is temporary man it's temporary this this has nothing to do with what's really in your soul you feel me so you know i that's just who i am as a person and and, and you know i just um shit i <laughs> I kind of lost my point low key. I forgot why I even said that. Let me see. Oh, um, shit. Why did I even say that again? Um, damn. I can't even remember my point. <laughs> I can't even remember my point, y'all. Oh, my God. But um, like I said, though, man, I just, I'm, I'm always have faith in the process, though. I'm going to have faith in the process. I'm a, I'm gonna have my faith in God. I'm gonna work hard for things. You feel me? I'm gonna claim it, man. Oh, I remember my point now. Boom! I remember my point. My point is, you know, I'm not a money hungry guy. I'm not a materialistic guy. 
So at the end of the day, like my motivation is not stuff. You feel me? My motivation comes from stuff that that you can't really pay for, like peace of mind, happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like pure happiness, pure joy. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff that I look forward to the most. And unfortunately, what I was kind of taught, you know, what a lot of us are taught is, you know what I'm saying? We go and get us a quote unquote good job or something like that. And we and we we level up and we stack our money and and, you know, we just kind of deal with whatever we got to deal with within the job and we just go to work and go home. But, you know, at some point, especially when your job is really having a toll on you mentally or spiritually, you know what I'm saying? For me, even physically, because I've, I've had live anxiety attacks at work. It's a whole nother conversation. But like you get to a point where it's like, bro, this shit not even worth it, bro. Like it's not worth it. Like I'm doing all this shit. I'm sacrificing my whole I'm sacrificing my whole well-being for stuff. <clears throat> like I'm sacrificing my whole well-being for stuff, bro. Like that's that that just it don't sit right with me it don't sit right with me and honestly i'm kind of in the mindset where it's like damn if i gotta sacrifice it and lose it all to rebuild a foundation that's more based on something that i enjoy i'd rather do that because my foundation right now is is honestly built on pain pain stress you know what i'm saying it's built on pain stress anxiety bullshit you feel me and and it's a suckish feeling when you gotta constantly risk your well-being every day just to make ends meet man and it's it's a lot it's a hell of a feeling and it's like i said i'm taking a big risk right now because i'm trying to regain myself back i'm trying to regain my mental health i'm trying to regain my physical health like i've put so much focus on trying to get some money that i didn't i didn't let myself go and shit I, the reality is man I, i'd rather i'd rather be here for my family and my kids and we struggle a little bit and make something happen than, than for me to leave them behind especially due to the toll that that life and, and that these jobs and that these politics and all this shit has put on me you know what i'm saying i can't let that shit beat me down y'all like I, I can't i can't let that beat me down man i truly can't so you know like i said i'm in a different space right now i'm in a different space in life even though i'm going through what i'm going to going through i'm in a i'm in a clearer headspace and I'm really gonna stand on making sure that I'm put first because I can't be I can't be great for anything or anybody until I'm great for myself and that's just the real y'all gotta remember that man you cannot be everything for somebody else until you're everything for yourself first you have to fill your own cup man you have to you cannot dish out water to everybody if you don't have no water in your cup bro like it don't work that way it don't it don't work that way it's the same shit like with gas if if one of your partners is stranded and you siphon all your gas out of your car to give it to the, to the next person they gonna pull off now nigga you stuck you stuck on the side of the road now you feel what i'm saying and that's just that's just what i refuse to go through anymore you know what i'm saying i'm tired of it so it's one day at a time right now i'm gonna figure a lot of this stuff out and and, and get myself back situated but i just wanted to tell y'all because honestly like i feel like there's a lot of people that's just out here putting on a front putting on a front acting like everything is all good when it ain't i see enough of that fake shit constantly whether it's on youtube or hell whether it's even you know with people i know like like man i i can't i can't be part of that bro like i i gotta be real with myself first of all and i'm gonna and i'm gonna be real with y'all because y'all have supported me through everything man y'all have supported me for years man and i appreciate y'all so much so you know i, I felt like I, I owe y'all this you feel me i owe y'all this conversation i owe y'all this dialogue 
and I owe y'all an explanation, man, just out of respect that I have for y'all because of the, you know, because of the time that you guys have taken out of your day to support me. You feel me? It's only right, man. So, you know, I truly appreciate y'all. I appreciate the support that y'all have given me over the years, man. I appreciate y'all for not, you feel me, disappearing from me, having patience with me. Your boy is going through some shit, but I'm going to get through it. You feel me? I'm going to get back on top. I know that God got me. I'm trusting God. I'm trusting the process. And that's really just it, man. Honestly, that's that's all I got for y'all, man. That's all I got. I, that's, that's my conversation for the night. Before we end it, though, man, let me show y'all some good views real quick, man, before we end this video, man. Hold on for a second. Let me grab this camera. Yeah, man. Let me... Let me show you all these nice views up here, man. Like I said, nice Bay Area views. You know what I'm saying? We at peace right now. Y'all know Big Ledge is outside looking amazing. Like I told y'all, man, Big Ledge is still holding. You feel me? She's still holding. She ain't going nowhere. Ain't nothing happened. You feel me? We still got it. Ignore that little fog. You know what I'm saying? On the wrap, that's just because it's cold outside. But... Nah, Big Ledge is still around, man. Big Ledge still around. But hell, most of all, I'm still around. Shit. <laughs> Fuck the car. I'm still here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I, I know, I know, I know for my for my subscribers that's here for the car, I know they want to see that that legend. So it's only right that I give y'all that legend, man. But that's really it for this video. Oh yeah, as you see the hair getting longer. Hold on, you see the hair getting longer too, man. That's that wisdom, that's that knowledge. That's that wisdom and that knowledge on them, man. You feel me? I'm double-stranded right now, but when I let them hang single, oh, they hang. You feel me? They just a little shorter because of the double strands. But, yeah, man, we... I'm still here, y'all. I'm still here, y'all. I'm on this life journey trying to figure it out. Don't be ashamed if y'all on the journey, too. You feel me? Embrace where you come from. Embrace where you at embrace where you're going just embrace the whole journey in between because that's where we build that's where we build our morals that's where we build our, our character you feel me that's where we just build our sense of just knowing who we are as people you feel me and then we get out in this world and we represent ourselves in the best way because we know ourselves we know ourselves through the good times we know ourselves through the bad times we know ourselves through everything you know what i'm saying so embrace that shit man it ain't nothing to ever be ashamed of when you going through this journey because it's gonna come with ups it's gonna come with downs you feel me it's gonna come with good times bad and everything around man you know what i'm saying like that's just that's just part of it man but we blessed either way it go i appreciate y'all for hearing me out like i said man i'm at the end of the day though i'm here you know what i'm saying my family we good we gonna figure things out you know what I'm saying? For my car lovers, Big Ledge, still around, man. Still around. And um, that's it, man. Y'all keep a lookout for the Be The Growth podcast series. Y'all keep a lookout just for more car uploads. You know, I'm going to get back to that, too. But like I said, I appreciate y'all a lot, man. And um, until next time, holla at y'all in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. I love y'all. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. A couple months later, I lost peace. I was weak and still kicking, you can DJ on the beach I was doing too much in the streets I got a call, I gotta pay my baby brother on the tee Gabe hit me and he said this shit deep I'm having suicide thoughts like it should've been me